Welcome to another episode of Podcasting and Platforms. I'm your host, Chris Spangle. Thank you so much for being here. And this is a short Q&A. I am taking your questions and giving you answers at podcastingandplatforms.com. You can email me at chris at podcastingandplatforms.com. And Jocelyn recently wrote in on our Uh, Instagram, I attempted to make something visual for YouTube. It was exhausting. I only did one segment. What are your thoughts on this video versus strictly audio? So I'll refer you back to a different episode to go into the pros and cons of using just audio versus using video. Um, But let's just take a look at your video and give people some context of what we are talking about. This is a libertarian podcast uh, by Jake Porter and uh, featuring the guest Thomas Knapp, both people that I really like. So, it's a podcast, the Jake Porter and Friends podcast, the podcast to end all podcast. I'm joined today with my good friend Tom. So, Knapp. my first impressions are that it's amazing for uh, a director of the Garrison Center. For an audio-only podcast that's being featured on YouTube, it's really well done. I'd love to know what software you used for this, so please comment below and let us know, and then I'll let other people know. So I'll turn down the audio, but, you know, your your video is really, really good. But you said it took a ton of time, right? Uh, and this is something that will get you a lot more views than something that is a little bit more simple. And, you know, going through this video, like, you even have, like, video moving through the the little bubbles and everything uh so well done and bravo to you for having the skill level to do that um i'm i don't mean to call you out you've got 10 views on it you have to evaluate at this point i'm going to give you a subscribe just because i think that's great um what's the level of time commitment versus the amount of people that are viewing it sounds like you're already burnt out after doing one I mean, could you get those 10 views with something that took you um, 15 minutes using a a software called Headliner, or I'm guessing, let's say that took you two hours, three hours, right? So you have to balance, you know, the quality and the time, right? That quality is always going to get you more views over time. Two years from now, if you're putting in that time and dedication, you're going to have more viewers on YouTube than something a little bit more simple, which I'll show you. I don't have as much time and I don't have as much, to be honest, sometimes creativity is what you just showed us there, which I thought was brilliant. Uh, This is what I used yesterday. This is a headliner video uh, and Columbus sailed the ocean blue. So this is an episode I did on Christopher Columbus using headliner and in Canva, I created an image and then uh, used Headliner to add the little sound waves at the bottom to post to YouTube. Uh, it's only got three views, so it's not doing uh, phenomenal. But um, I don't my YouTube channel. I don't really invest a lot of time and effort there, so I don't get a lot of views. Um, which is why I didn't put a lot of effort into that video. So I put more effort into like this video, right, and producing these kinds of things and showing off how I talk uh, with and doing interviews right so if it's audio only then I will generally skip it but that was an important episode that I thought would be um, uh, well received by many people and I wanted to that have that audio only in as many places as possible so I used headliner to do it you can see it's a lot more simplistic than yours it's a lot less watchable which means the algorithm in YouTube is going to give me and my audio only uh, video less algorithm lift and less audience than yours because yours is more watchable. The way that Google in their SEO and on YouTube judge content and how to weight it is by how we would judge the content. How many people are talking about this restaurant? Let's put them more towards the top. Let's scan the internet for social signals to see what video is being watched more than others? Is it worth it? I can't say yes or no. I can say that you did a great job with it, and I really liked it. And over time, it's going to be more beneficial than the headliner video. But you have to determine if that time is worth it. So the algorithm will reward you with your video over my video over time. But again, do you have the time? If you're already burnt out after one, then I would say don't do it because you're going to stop doing the podcast and it's better for you to do the podcast and get the information out 
than it is to have the slickly produced thing. Take 15 minutes, get headliner, do it that way. That's what I would recommend. Um, and, and put your effort into really good audio content. You know, if it, there's so many different ways to do podcasting and to promote podcasts. So you really have to focus on where can I spend the bulk of my time? For me, it's what I say into the microphone, prepping that Christopher Columbus episode. It was hours of research and reading and watching documentaries to make sure that what came out of my mouth was accurate and interesting. And I could have made more slickly produced things, but I would have had less time to put into the actual research of the episode. So what's more important? You have to balance all these things. These are all trade-offs. Um, so my advice... Make it a little more simple if you're already getting burned out. Put your effort into making the interviews and the content and the written descriptions as good as humanly possible. All right, thank you so much. If you're interested in getting coaching, go to leadersandlegends.net. Then you can sign up there. Go to podcastingandplatforms.com. Sign up for the emails. And thank you so much for listening. And be sure to subscribe to this podcast. We will see you again soon here on Podcasting and Platforms.